off into space and really not speaking to me. And I had had special ed students in the past who had seizure disorders, and that's really what it looked like to me, that he was having a seizure. My husband felt the same way, and we took him to the local hospital. And they really didn't know what was wrong with him. They did a lot of tests on him. Um, it was pretty scary. And then eventually they did a CAT scan, and they said that they saw a mass on his brain and he needed to be shipped out to a major hospital immediately. So my sister actually um, was doing some research on a pendymoma, which was the type of tumor he had, and found a research article by Dr. Thomas Merchant down at St. Jude's. And he was doing research on a pendymoma. And at the bottom of the research article was his contact information, so we called him. We placed the call, an hour later he called me back, he explained everything that he was doing as far as his research and how it differed from the typical protocol that was accepted at the time. My husband and I decided, you know, this is the place we need to go. And the last thing Dr. Merchant said to me on the phone was, I want you to know there's hope. Um, we really didn't have much hope because he was getting about a 30% survival rate at the time. I don't know, I just, it's just like, uh, I guess like hard to grasp, uh, grasp, because I don't have a lot of memories of that like time period, probably for like the first like seven years, to, it's like I have no memory, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's like a side effect or anything, but um, I, it's just, uh, I guess it's like a strange feeling to know that you're like that close to death, but I've come to like, I guess I've actually come to grasp it and like, just like, like have like a shrug on your shoulder, like shrug it off your shoulder or something like that. Like pat yourself on the back that you survived cancer. Um, you know, he was a typical little boy, um, climbing in, you know, he loved trucks, he loved dinosaurs, you name it. Um, he was very typical. There were really no signs that he had a tumor. And um, the neurosurgeon explained that he probably started to develop the, the brain tumor in utero. So it was always there, we just didn't know it. Um, you know, I'm grateful that we found Dr. Merchant and St. Jude's. I mean, you know, every, there's so many things that could have gone wrong, but for us, so many things went right, and we just have to be grateful. They housed us at no cost, um, because for the time that Jake um, was ill, we went down to a one-income family, which was really scary to me. You know, I was having dreams of living in our car with three kids, and um, because we didn't have to pay to stay initially in a hotel, and then we moved to Ronald McDonald House, St. Jude took care of that. Um, they also paid for our meals. Um, so not having to worry about the money um, took a, 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 a huge stress off of um, my shoulders and specifically off of my husband's shoulders. My favorite thing, my favorite thing of all, is uh, seeing my old doctor. I don't see him anymore because I'm in like the survival clinic or whatever, I believe. But uh, he was my doctor for the first time, uh, Dr. Merchant, who my mom mentioned. He is like my absolute favorite guy. And when I graduate from high school, I want to have him at my party. We're going to fly him up. <laughs> You'll <laughs> pay for him this time? Yes. Yep. We'll yep. return the favor. <laughs> yes. One of my other favorite things is um, like they have paintings on the wall, like murals, I guess, whatever. Um, and that kind of like makes it fun almost. It's not, it's not just a hospital. It's like, uh, I don't know. They make it have a good feeling, a good vibe. I hope to be like a teacher, uh, preferably American history, for when I'm done with high school and done with college. And well, I would like to go pro football, but that might not happen. Probably won't happen. But there's always the hope. You know, I know money's tight for everybody right now, um, and it's hard to give. Um, but if there's one place that you could give a dollar to, I would I would ask that you give to St. Jude because it that dollar affects the lives of so many children. We will never be able to, to pay back the debt that we owe St. Jude's for all that they did for us and, and Jake. Hope is like always present there and love is present there. Like all the good things in the world are, are, are there. <laughs>